Hello guys! In this video we will take a look at how to publish packages to NPM using Turbo Repo. So the goal of software engineering is to develop a software on time and within budget. One of the ways to achieve it is using reusable code, also known as packages. There are many packages out there, such as uh, Axis, React, Zustand and many many others. You used a lot of them and we can call them uh, other people's packages. The disadvantage of other people, people's packages include the following. You sometimes download more code than necessary because you only use one or two features of the package but you have to download all of it. You don't know how internals of a package work and it's hard to make a fix when there is an underlying bug in the package so you end up writing your own code and also there can be instances where package doesn't exist for whatever you want to do so you have to write your own code as well on the other hand you have my own packages those are packages developed by you or your organization for a specific project with a purpose of reusing it in other projects my own packages can be utilities services ui ux components etc there are some challenges to my own packages as well. You need a separate NPM project and simlink it as a dependencies while developing the main app. Uh, you gotta set up build and publish automation. You also need to update dependencies when the main app is deployed. Turbo Repo helps to solve those problems. Turbo Repo makes it easy to bundle a package. It also supports versioning and publishing tools such as change sets CLI. And a package can be used as an internal package for the initial project and as an external npm package for the other projects down the road uh, turbo repo publishing packages documentation link is right here and feel free to read it uh, now let's get started okay before we start let's run linter we haven't done it in a little bit so pnpm run lint and it's complaining that it has uh, some errors. I love synthetic default imports error. So we need to go to tsconfig.json in the front end and add the following property in a compiler option, allow synthetic default imports true. So let's run it again. And uh, looks like we have another issue. And this issue is the width property doesn't exist uh, on the type of intrinsic attribute flex blah 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 so it looks like we added an extra property on a flex component in header content CSX so we have the width as a CSS property so let's rerun it again and it looks like everything is fine so now let's go ahead and run the tests and if we do pnpm run test everything looks just fine okay now let's create a package in uh, packages uh, we'll create folder token cookies and uh, we'll start with a package.json we're gonna put name as a token cookies uh, because our uh, package will try to grab cookies and store them in a token i mean try to grab token and store them in the cookies and uh, then if it needs the token it will try to get it from cookies so we'll put version and description okay one of the important parts we need to put main and it's going to be in a dist folder which will get compiled the same thing for module it's going to have index.mgs in the dist folder and also types all right so we're going to be using sup uh, to compile and we'll put the flag uh, DTS to generate uh, definitions. All right, so we'll put author, just a license, and now scripts. So the build script, we'll use sub, src index.ts uh, file, right? And then we'll put format, and like I said, we'll put a DTS flag uh, to generate definitions. Uh, dev script will be the same as build script except it's going to have a watch flag 
and lint is just going to be using ES lint. And now we're going to put tab dependencies, ES lint. Also, we'll need ES lint config that we will take from the current package that we have. So we'll put workspace colon asterisk. Same with TS config. And then we're going to have a sub um, also and TypeScript. So. Now we need to create ESLint RC file. And what it's going to do is basically going to extend already existing uh, custom ESLint custom or ESLint config custom. Okay, now let's create a SRC folder. Now we'll put a cookies.ts file. This will be a uh, utility file or that will contain utility functions right first of all will be set cookie and we're going to pass name a string value string and days as number so we're going to be basically setting it if there is a days we're going to be setting it the expires to the number of to, to date all right, so now we're gonna set document cookie. We'll get the name. We'll add value, put the expires, and we also put same site legs so the browser doesn't complain that same site is missing in cookies, right? Now the next function will be get cookie, which will be a little simpler. It'll pass a string, and what it's gonna do really look for the cookie by name if it exists so it's going to grab the whole cookies split them and iterate looking for the name of the cookie all right so if it finds the name of the cookie right so it's gonna return the second part of it the value if not it's gonna return an empty string and finally we're gonna create a function erase cookie which is basically gonna have the cookie by the name and it's gonna set it but it, the expiration date will be in the past just decide to do january 1st 1970. also we'll put the same site lags so the browser doesn't complain all right so now let's go and create index.ts file so this file is going to import all those utility functions that we just created from cookies.ts and we're going to have a function set tokens from URL hash. So we're gonna first look at the hash of the URL and see if there are tokens present in there. Like for example, localhost 3001 dashboard and the hash will be access token, hello and ID token, for example, right? And we're gonna pass array of the tokens that we need and it will return the value of the token. Well, it will actually set um, those tokens if it finds in the hash as a cookies so for each token names that we're looking for if we find one right so we're gonna we're gonna set it as a cookie using our set cookie function Also, we'll put a can remove hash to true. So in case we found the hash that contains the token, we're just gonna remove it so uh, users can't really see them in the URL.
now let's export set cookie get cookie and erase cookie so we can use them in the project and also we're going to have a function get tokens we'll pass the arrays of tokens like for example access token an id token or just access token right and then we're going to return array of strings as well the corresponding strings right After we're done, we run install command and build commands. Now let's use the package we created in the project. So we'll go to package.json in the uh, front end and we uh, put token cookies in the dependencies, right? So next thing, we'll go to access client and we import get tokens from uh, token cookies and we'll uh, destruct access token as a variable from get tokens and we put an array and will contain only one uh, member will be which will be access token so now if there is access token we uh, put uh, headers uh, authorization uh, bearer and we put the token so all access requests gonna contain authorization header so now let's go to header content.tsx and we're going to import erase cookie from the package we created. We're also going to import use navigate from React Router DOM. So now we're going to have a delete user function from a user store. We're also going to have a navigate function from a calling use navigate and now we're going to create logout function so we're going to delete user we're going to erase cookie access token and we're also going to navigate to the root so now we're going to put uh, on click event on the logout button which will contain the logout function and we're just going to run pnpm install and now let's check if the code is working so pnpm run dev and we encountered an issue so there's something in the token cookies uh, that uh, compiler doesn't like so let's go to package.json in token cookies package and we can make a typo in module it needs to be a forward slash instead of dot so let's uh, cancel out and uh, run again looks like everything is working so let's go to localhost 3001 open developer tools and put it in a storage now we can type hashtag access token and put a value my access token hit enter and now you can see that we have a cookie access token with the value of my access token uh, also on the request if we refresh we go and look at the request we can see authorization uh, my access token All right now let's go log out and you can see that cookie disappears from the storage also if we go take a look at the request we can see that right now uh, the header is gone there is one more thing we need to do when logging out the user. So let's go to header context and in our logout function, let's do delete client defaults, uh, headers, uh, common and uh, authorization header in case a uh, user doesn't refresh the browser. Currently the package is internal, so we need to publish it to uh, NPM. So let's do pnpm add at change sets CLI and put dash w so it installs in the root of the mono repo now let's do npx change set in it so it's going to initialize and create that change set folder so right now we're going to put in a root uh, package that json of the mono repo publish packages command so we'll run uh, build and lint and also change set version and change set publish let's go ahead and run publish packages command and right off the bat we have an error so there was a uh, something in a lint so eslint.rc.js in the package it says extension and it needs to say extends let's rerun it again and it looks like everything is working however when pushing the package to the npm we had an error it says about restricted so let's go to that change set folder in the config.json we need to put access as public all right let's make our save and run it again 
and looks like everything worked so the question is how come it only pushed a uh, token uh cookies package right because other packages here are private private true you can see it in ui or in a logger package so now if we go to npm uh, we can see token uh, cookies uh, package in the npm uh, right now we need to know how to do changes so let's go ahead and create a readme file and we just put some token cookies and put some kind of text get set and delete cookies in the browser doesn't say much but it will do it for our purpose so now we need to go to package.json and change the version right and rerun the command and since the version is changed it's gonna pre-publish the package and push it again to PNP, uh, npm all right and we can see it right here and there is a readme file uh, and this is how you publish package to npm using tube repo thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video